Shuja Nova Spy for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today I'm going to talk about how is this ROM and how is this update. And my first impressions about this ROM would be that this ROM is pretty good. But of course there are some features which are missing and it feels quite old. And this ROM is not on par with customizations of Havoc OS or Liquid Remix. So do keep that in mind. So starting off the list of the things which are not present, let's start off with the camera. Well, the stock camera over here is the old basic Google camera. I don't know who wants this kind of camera, but yes, it is there. And no Mini 2's camera or even the Pixel 3 camera is present by default over here. And let me show you one thing. If you want camera to API, well, the camera to API is simply not present over here. And as you can see, everything is cross and red and there is no camera to api toggle even in the settings so that's a disappointment so to enable camera to api you need to like flash magic then patch the camera to api module so that's all those things so camera to api is not present over here by default i'm not going to be talking about magic stuff because i want to review roms with stock kind of things like you flash the rom the g apps and how will your experience be so now let's talk about the launcher. Well, the stock launcher over here is the quick step launcher. And to the left over here, we have the Google Now cards. And this Google Now cards feature is pretty cool. And you can swipe down just like this to get to the notification panel. But for this kind of stuff, you need to go into the settings. Let me just show you. Here inside the launcher settings, we get the gesture option. And here you get the notification gesture. So you just enable it and swipe down anywhere. You get the notification toggle. I hope you get that idea. And double tap to sleep gesture is present over here and you can change it to flashlight too. Let me just show you. I'm double tapping and the phone went to sleep. And again, the phone went to sleep. The fingerprint scanner does have some kind of issues because my fingers are wet right now. So let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed now. So as you can see it's a bit slower when you compare it with other ROMs like Liquid Remix and stuff but yeah that's how it is. And one more thing that I am missing over here is the accent colors. Well inside display settings you will find the device theme option. As you can see we have the device theme as light, dark and automatic. But there are no accent color changing options which is pretty sad. But night light option is there and stuff like that like night light is working fine. And as you can see, night light worked fine. Let's go back. We have the auto brightness or adaptive brightness. You can change the sleep timer. And we have the ambient display working. And double tap to wake 2 is present over here. You don't need to worry. And let me show you the system again. Here inside system, we have the Nitrogen OS logo on top. And in advanced, we have the developer option. From where you can just go over here. Let me show you inside default USB configuration. You can change it to file transfer so that you can transfer files from your PC with a micro USB cable. And inside about phone, let's go inside Android version. And here we have the Android version as 9. As you can see Android Pie. Let's go back. And the security patch over here is December 5th, 2018. And here is the stock kernel version. And this is the, well, I do not know, but this is the 10th December 2018 build. Let's go back and inside personalization, we have all the customizations you need and over here we have the status bar items and stuff and here we get the headset, bluetooth etc icons. I do not see any Vaulty icon over here but Vaulty works fine and inside battery icon we can change it to circle dotted circle text hidden etc stuff. You can change the battery percentage position too. ADP notification is there, network traffic monitoring option is there. Let's go back inside quick settings we have the brightness slider and stuff but note that the sliding a finger on the status bar to adjust brightness feature is missing. Let's go back inside buttons we have the volume rocker customization from here you can change the like playback control volume rocker wake and stuff you can enable it. Inside navigations we get the navigation bar allowing option of course and you can change the navigation mode to smart bar or fling which is a good thing and you can change it to like you can invert the navigation panel options like I change it to like right side the back button is right now on the right side if I embed the invert layout and the Android Pie navigation panel works just fine but for that you have to do one more thing let me show you 
but before that you can adjust this navigation panel height and stuff as you can see so you can just leave however you want it and inside gestures you will find the ASP gesture so from here make sure you enable this swipe up home button so that you can swipe up to get the recent panel and swipe up again to get the all apps so that's how it is let's go back we have the full screen navigation gesture option so that feature is there screen of power button is there i mean screen of power button torch and as you can see it's working fine so let me unlock the screen and we have the automatically turn off torch option status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep is there so that's a cool thing you can just double tap the status bar to lock the phone that's a good thing inside power menu we have the advanced reboot and stuff let me show you here as you can see we have the advanced reboot and what else we have notification here we have the heads up option and we have the battery charging light noise notification screen and in call vibration options are there you can enable vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and stuff let's go back inside me you can disable the wake up on charge if you want to so that's it for the customizations and let me show you some more things like google pay if you want banking apps or google pay to be working let's let me just put my number over here so as you can see by default it will say google pay can't be used on this device but to fix this thing let me show you you have to go into the settings then app settings or apps and notification then see all then find google play services from here so here we have the google play services go to permission then disable the phone and sms app permission then let's try to set up google pay again let's just clear it up from memory so as you can see right now my google pay is like completed setup so i can use it right now and everything went fine so to fix google pay or banking apps just do the play services disabling permission and disable the phone and sms app permission for the play services that's it but even though the rom does not have like the most latest feature out there like havoc os or liquid remix but still this rom is pretty good for daily driving and i feel this is a pretty good rom and okay -ish rom if you want to like daily drive normally if you don't want like huge amount of customizations all the time so this is a pretty great choice and this would be a almost good choice for anyone out there who wants a pretty good rom with like most of the time daily driving good performance app opening up speeds and stuff are pretty fine as you can see the app opening up animation is set to 1x like pixel experience rom so it does look pretty cool the android pie animations is pretty cool as you can see it's like a little bit slower than the liquid remix rom because in liquid remix rom these animations are a lot faster it's set to 0.25x i guess and this looks pretty cool and all the apps are in memory so you don't need to worry about memory management at all and you can switch between apps just like this it's pretty quick and you can switch between whatever app you want and this rom is pretty good and one more thing is over here i forgot to show you i guess let's go into personalization and did i show you the lock screen i think i forgot well we do have the lock screen charging info fingerprint authentication vibration and face auto unlock is of course there and we have the temperature unit to celsius let me just show you the lock screen and here as you can see it shows as 26 degrees celsius so the lock screen stuff is working fine and you can see the weather and stuff in lock screen and let's go inside security and let me set up the face on lock and over here let's go trusted face so i did set up face unlock let's try it now So as you can see the face unlock works and it's pretty fast. So that is it pretty much for this video guys that does it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.